Managing the price of thousands of items in multiple price lists is effortlessly handled with SAP Price Update Wizard. The Prices Update Wizard provides multiple methods to let you update prices globally on an item level. Each time, you can choose an appropriate method to update prices as you need. The wizard guides you through step-by-step -step through the definition of parameters required to update these prices. To access the Prices Update Wizard from the SAP Business One, we have two options. First, from the main menu, navigate to Inventory, Price Lists, and click on Price Lists. This is where your price list reside and we do find a Prices Update Wizard button. Differently, within the same inventory module, we may click under Price List, Price List Update Wizard directly. As a reminder, once you complete the update, the changes are irreversible. In the Prices Update Wizard, click Next for the next window. In Step 1, we're going to select the appropriate update method. Here, we are going to update the prices through mathematical operations. We are able to select from the following operating methods. Add, Subtract, Multiply, Divide, or Equal To. As a note, for the Equal To operation method, zero and positive values are allowed in the value field. For the rest of the operation methods, only positive values are allowed. For our selection, we're going to add $5. If you choose to use the method Base Price List, this updates prices by defining the Base Price List and the factor. From the Base Price List drop-down list, select a price list and define a positive value for the factor field. When you execute the update, the prices are to be updated according to the base price list and the defined factor. As a note, if you want to change the factor only without changing the base price list, select the current base price list. If you want to set a price list based on itself, select Same as Target price list from the drop-down list. In our example, we will use the small account sales price in a factor of 0.7. What this will do, it will decrease the price lists for the items by 30%. If you were to choose the convert to exchange rate, this would update the prices by converting them to a different currency. Select the currency that you want to convert the prices to and specify the exchange rate between the foreign currency and the local currency that applies to the price conversion. Note, in the exchange rate field, positive values only are allowed. If the prices are converted between two different foreign currencies, they will be converted to the local currency first using the exchange rate defined in the Exchange Rates and Indexes window and then converted to the selected foreign currency by applying the specified exchange rate. And the last update method is Unit of Measure Reduce by Percentage option. This would update prices by updating the Reduce by Percentage information of the unit of measure prices. Here, you would select one of the following mathematical operation methods for updating and defining the reduce by percentage value used in it. We are able to reduce by percentage by multiply, divide, add, subtract, or equal to reduce by percentage. As a note, for the equal to operation method, zero and positive values are allowed in the reduce by percentage field. For the rest of the operation methods, only positive values are allowed. Once you have selected the update method you would like to use, we will go next to step number two. For our example, we're going to update prices by adding $5. Click next for step number two. In step two selection criteria, we will define the parameters to select the prices we want to update. This step is further split into two sub-steps for the item selection and price selection. In the item selection sub-step, we will specify the selection criteria from the item's perspective, meaning the prices will be updated later for the eligible items only. In the price selections sub-step, after we execute the update, only the eligible prices are updated in the price list, and they are updated for the eligible items only. Here we see the item selection fields. 
preferred vendor code from and to. It will specify the range of the preferred vendors to filter the items that you want to update prices for. In the item number from and to, it will specify the range of the item numbers to filter the items that you want to update prices for. We can also use item groups by selecting the item groups that we are able to filter the items that you want to update prices for. We can also use item properties where we specify properties as a selection criteria. We may further choose if we want to include items with no price. By default, this checkbox is not selected. Further, we're also able to define whether to include inactive items. Also, by default, this checkbox is not selected. For our example, we're going to include only one item code, the laptop case. For that, we're going to include the from and the to being the same item code. You could include a range of items that you would want to do the updates for by selecting the original from to the last item on your range. We will click next. We have now reached the second sub-step, price selection fields. Here, it is mandatory that we select the price list in which we want to update prices for. By selecting the drop-down, you will be able to select the price list. To choose multiple price lists at the same time, choose the Browse button to either select multiple or click on the ellipses to the right of price list drop-down and the price list window will open. As a note, in the price list window, once you have selected a price list, any other price list that is directly or indirectly using its base price will be selected automatically and cannot be deselected. In our case, we will only use one price list, the small account sales price. By default, only the primary currency checkbox is selected. We must select at least one of the currency related checkboxes. Select the currency in which the price list you want to update are set. By default, we will leave it as all currencies. Select the unit of measure on which the prices you want to update are set. When you select the other unit of measure or both manual and other unit of measure option, the browse button to the right of the unit of measure dropdown list becomes available. Browse to the units of measure window in which you can select multiple units of measure. Determine whether you want to update the prices you use selected unit of measure as pricing units or non-pricing units. To enable the selection of the unit of measures in the table, select at least one of the following checkboxes. Pricing unit or a specific unit of measure. For pricing unit, the units of measure that are pricing units, prices will be updated directly when the unit of measure are selected. With a specific unit of measure, the prices will be updated only when the selected unit of measures are not pricing units. And the auto checkbox in the price list itself unit of measure prices window is not selected. Now that we have selected our price list, primary currency, and currencies, and units of measure is set to manual, we will click next for our simulation. Here we are able to see that the laptop case, currently at $122.50, will be increased by $5 as per our determination to $127.50. If we had multiple items within this list, we would be able to group by items or specific price lists. Select Update checkbox in order to execute such change and click Execute. Note that due to the possibility of multiple connections to the database, the simulation results may be different from the final update results. We'll click OK to continue. In step number four, the summary window, we are able to verify that under messages, the price for the item code C00014 were updated successfully. Click finish and your price update wizard has been concluded. The prices update wizard providing multiple methods that allow you to update prices globally on item level is one of many tools that SAP Business One offers to automate and help perform your daily workflows more efficiently and easily. Join us as we help you learn more about SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notifications bell so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer.
to get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.